Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yomesh Gupta. In this video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of something that is coming to the DevTools Tech platform. It is one of the, you know, latest features uh, and it's still in early beta. So I want to give you a quick sneak peek of what I'm building. So let's say I'm on the platform and currently I'm on this questions page where I can, you know, see all the questions. I can go click on solve and start solving a question. There are a bunch of filters. Let's say I want to just solve JavaScript questions so I can apply that filter and all the questions are filtered out. Maybe I want to do all the questions that are of programming type in JavaScript so I can apply that filter. I can do the status of the questions that I've done so far or that are still in to do state or maybe I can sort by create date or popularity. Maybe I want to do intermediate level questions so I can filter those and Finally, I can also apply filters like companies. Maybe I want to do AWS questions or Adobe or Amazon and so on. So this is the standard way of doing things on the platform, which is pretty straightforward. As of now, you can apply a bunch of filters, do a, a combination, permutation combinations and get the data you want. Now I'm trying to build an alternate way, uh, a more natural way that, you know, with all this AI revolution, we are more accustomed to. Uh, so let's see how we can do this in an alternate way. So this is the alternate way that I'm building. It's an uh, AI assistant, which is called event loop by DevTools tech. I have named it event loop. You it's still open. You can tell me a better name, but I feel event loop is a nice, you know, ring to it. So I kept it that way. Basically, it's like a chat GPT version of DevTools tech, or you can say Claude, chat GPT, Google Gemini, whatever you want to call it. It's an uh, in-house LLM that is completely trained on the DevTools tech platform, all the questions, resources, and so on. And, you know, let's say uh, we saw that uh, you come to the platform, you see all the questions, you can apply a filter, but here you can do it in an alternate way. Let's say I have an interview, come upcoming interview with Atlassian and I want to prepare. So you can come to this page, you can do something like, hi, I have an uh, upcoming uh, interview with Atlassian and uh, then i can say what sort of questions should i prepare so i'm giving it a verbose uh, query here you can give it a query then the model will start thinking that uh, what it can provide to you if there is a knowledge graph the assistant is built on a knowledge graph and it will traverse that and based on that it will find all the questions that was previously asked in atlassian for different different rounds and it will give you links where you can you know go from here and directly open it in a new tab and start solving so this is and it will give you additional information that you can go to our youtube channel and you know uh, revise the concepts and so on now you can even ask so the, these are the you know let's say i got these questions but i don't know what all topics are these questions covering so i'm i can ask what are the topics that these questions are covering and now the al agent will again start thinking it will again you know see the context of the conversation we had so far and whatever we have in our database now it will tell you that these uh, questions generally cover tree structure and dom manipulation like confluence covers tree structure and dom manipulation then jira velocity chart question covers data visualization and charting feature flags will talk about performance optimization file system and state management for file explorer and so on now you can go in depth around this you know you can ask uh, the agent that maybe you want to just prepare data visualization and charting or maybe you want to prepare promises you can ask the agent to give you questions or resources based on a particular topic maybe or let's say you just start just starting your preparation and you want to start with easy so you can say what is the level of these questions are they hard so now the agent will again think you get the gist of it. It will again, you know, traverse the knowledge graph. It will tell you that, you know, confluence like sidebar question is medium, uh, Jira velocity is easy, feature flag one is uh, all levels. It can be solved by anyone and file explorer is medium. And it is giving you another, uh, another, you know, suggestion that these other questions are different levels. And you can even ask that give me easy questions or give me easy questions which are uh, promise based or may, maybe I want to practice API integration so or maybe UI building so give me easy questions for UI building and it will provide you and there is no end to it you know 
the possibility are endless you can say okay uh, do you have any video tutorials for atlassian and if you you know send this query then it will you know again do the same process and it will find you the video tutorials that we have on the platform and you can you know use this uh, these all tutorials to prepare for your interview preparation this is the very early beta version of the you know event loop so expect things to break it might give you odd answers sometime or maybe some wrong answers but the idea here is that it can show up anywhere in the platform you know let's say you're solving a question and it is integrated with our ai code review system uh, you can right away ask for a code review maybe you can ask for random questions or maybe you know uh, you can ask for mock interviews or uh, it since it is trained on devtools tech platform and the platform will keep on updating so it will be trained on interview real world interview experiences that people share with me or we already have and you can ask that hey i am preparing for web fundamental rounds of razor pay so what topic should i cover and it will give you the exact topics that you know were previously asked or are most likely to show up you can even talk about system design hey uh, do you have any resources for system design uh, any videos or guides you can ask that so it will again go through the entire conversation. It will go through our knowledge base and based on the context and all the data it is trained on, it will give you that information. It's a bit slow right now. I'm trying to, you know, speed it up, but here it is the answer. It is giving you the system design guide. It is telling you that Google call it a calendar front end design as an example and where you can find it. Then it's giving you some, uh, our channel link plus particular videos that are related to system design like offline experience is often tasked web performance is often tasked in uh, system design how to render large lists so virtualization windowing that is a commonly discussed concept in system design so uh, this is it the whole idea of this video was to give you a quick sneak peek of what is coming next it is currently live on the platform like a you know early version the link is mentioned in the com would be mentioned in the comment or in the description you can go check it out you know try it out if you find any bugs or let's say if you have any feature requests like for a cert certain uh, ai assistant like this what do you expect what features do you expect you can mention in in the comments or you know you can share this video on the social platforms tag me tag dev tools mention what features you are looking for and eventually i'll build it like i always say the platform is going to be and is currently the one-stop solution for front-end engineers it's a global platform from india for front-end engineers it's not like it's a, like a course that you buy some node.js or react course that is outdated after one month or two months or maybe six months when the new version is out the platform will keep on updating there would be new questions there would be new uh, interview experiences there would be new ways of or new way of interviewing with all this ai changes and uh, so it will stay relevant. It is relevant now. It will re stay relevant five years down the lane and features like this will only make it easy the curated content and you know mock interviews using AI assistance and all these things will eventually help you. So this is the end of the video. Uh, if you think you know anything you can see that would be beneficial to you in your preparation then do mention in the comments. I'll check it out and uh, definitely I'll look how can I incorporate that into the platform. So next time, take care. Bye-bye.